You could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. <laughs> oh my god, how long has it been since I made a miraculous video? Wow, just shy, just one day shy of two months. That's a new record. Hello there besties, babes, and non-binary faves. My name is TVC and welcome to my corner of insanity. I just woke up and I, I, ah, it really says a lot how I'm actually just dreading this video in all its forms, but it needs to be addressed. It needs to be said. We need to clear the air and I'm ready to clear the stinky fart of this air. If you hear a lot of chirping, birds, chickens, whatever in the background, again, it's really early. It's like eight. Oh my God. Like I wake up earlier than this sometimes, but like, I know some of you are like eight in the morning that exists. So I made a post, a community post on my channel a while back. It says a day ago, but it's probably almost two days now where I asked you guys what videos you want me to make. And this one won. <laughs> it, 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 it won by almost half the votes. And it's a topic where I don't know how else to put it delicately. The fandom is for the most part dead or I don't even want to say dead. Maybe we're in hiatus. Maybe that's a better way to put it because right now there is not any new episodes coming out. And you know, when there's no flow of new episodes, things kind of slow down, things kind of trickle down. But remember between, I think season four to season five, where we almost went a year and a half without episodes, things were still bumping. I remember the miraculous in the good old days where you could just make a thumbnail with like just a character getting akumatized and it's fake it's, it's all fake and you could net yourself two million views a million this has happened my top three most popular videos of all times is basically this formula somebody transforming in front of someone else they shouldn't have that would bring in the views or back when somebody could just put a thumbnail of a character holding a miraculous they're not supposed to and you'd get 50. Aiden I'm looking at you he took them down but if you go there now he has like a bunch of other videos that just proves my point of just little edits in the thumbnails and you can get millions of views for what? They're just characters like the fandom used to show up and show out the miraculous YouTube channel used to pull in the views. But my God, now if you go to the official miraculous ladybug YouTube channel, cause I don't want to go to an individual's channel and kind of like put them on blast. Like, oh, ha, ha, look at their views. Like bestie, I'm not one to talk. Hell, I went through this as well, but just see the official miraculous ladybug YouTube channel. They are struggling for views. It's not even funny. Now, wait a minute. This isn't the official ladybug channel. This is a dupe imposter. Okay, there we go. I found the official one, but still a channel with almost 8 million views. Sometimes they're barely, barely breaking a hundred thousand views. They get some millions here and there, but oh my God, it's, it's, it, it's not looking pretty. And the general consensus I have is I won't really even blame the fans or anything. There's just not that much content behind the scenes. YouTube actually kind of reveals to me what's going on. What's hip, what's trendy and all the time. Miraculous is either either miraculous YouTubers or miraculous content. But recently for a while now, YouTube has been telling me, oh, your competition are talking about different things right now. It's ha um, hell of a boss. Uh, a while ago it was the owl house. So, yeah, it's basically what's popular, but miraculous has always, there's always at least one or two miraculous videos there. There have been none. You could argue, well, all my competition are talking about something else, but even back then I've made so many miraculous videos. I've cemented myself as a miraculous YouTuber that the algorithm knows, okay, here is what you should talk about when it comes to this. It doesn't tell me that anymore. My channel is basically telling me talk about something else. This shit is dead. So that's another aspect in the, oh, people are just not talking about this when it comes to creators. And have you noticed ex ex outside of like the miraculous YouTubers, the people who just talk about miraculous, other YouTubers don't really talk about this show, like popular cartoon YouTubers. They don't talk about this show outside of maybe one or two videos but they don't talk about it and it doesn't make sense for a show that we have already established brings in millions of views but even back then they never 
addressed it or never did anything and why is that well i will tell you because the company the goddamn f fucking company behind this thing they are legitimately the worst i'm gonna pull up my behind the scenes again you guys have seen a lot behind the scenes right now and i will show you my analytics when it comes to claims and i just want you to see a pattern of behavior talking about this show is just doing shit for free you you have to talk about it because you love it and i don't blame a lot of creators who just don't want to touch the show because you can you can't even show like 5 seconds of clips without just being assaulted like it's not even a case where oh i can post the clips get some views get some subscribers and maybe i'll is a net positive for my next video no now they just block your videos if you play even just a little more than you should and for a lot of creators they don't want to put that time and effort into a show that is going to rail them super hard up till today i'm still getting claims from videos i made so many years ago that back then was all right but now that just deemed not and because miraculous has um, i think licenses with so many companies i can wake up one morning and get like five different claims from gloob from i can't remember the other maybe from disney disney doesn't even really is not as aggressive as all the other ones as this french one tf1 or something they are just so relentless and rabid and they they don't want you to talk about this show i've had friends youtuber friends miraculous youtuber friends who have come to me and tell me hey i got claimed because of still images literally a still image got this person claimed by these companies and you can't fight it because they, they feel like they they are god lord and savior over this show so you're just screwed royally it's insane the levels that this company goes to to make sure you don't monetary gain monetarily gain from this or just don't talk about this they're trying to funnel all the millions and millions and millions of views that this show gets directly to the show and i can't blame them because you want that but at the end of the day if nobody talks about your show you're irrelevant bestie especially in the day of the internet where everybody is distracted everybody there is a new thing every other day literally hell of a boss just popped out a new episode and suddenly everything else on cartoon youtube land just stopped and if people are not talking about their show your show when you're not airing you're not allowing people to make theories or like shippings or just discussion videos or reviews people will forget again the internet has the memory of a toddler 2 seconds is 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 asking a lot to be in the, in the mind of an internet user and you going out of your way to tell these youtubers no 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 don't talk about this we don't want this go away shoo we'll post our little spoilery trailers and then people will come and watch and your trailers when you post them you don't air until maybe a week or two after so again you're really shooting yourself in the foot you're not allowing yourself to be remembered or known you know and outside of that fact again which is a very big fact where you're not even allowing creators to talk about this to even hype the fandom or remind the fandom of what's going on your stupid marketing you have a company that's basically shooting you in the foot what's the point of watching the episode if the trailer already tells me everything that's going to happen so people don't talk about this or analyze it or review it to get the little nuances and the fans have watched the trailer and they're like oh yeah so this is going to happen okay fine i'm i'm on with my day If a reviewer was allowed to review that show, it would remind that person, "Oh, this episode has come out. Let me go check it or oh, let me just see what happened so I'll know if I should go watch the episode." You have no idea the amount of times I've posted a review video and people come up and go, "Oh, this episode is out. Okay, I'm going to go watch it and I'll come back and watch your video." So many times. Cuz people just don't know. Your scheduling is dog shit. You're not like Disney with The All House where you got your shit on the lock and key now. No. You guys are atrocious with that. Your fans don't know when episodes are coming out, how it's coming out, and the people that can even tell them when it's coming out are getting claimed to high heaven just for posting images of it coming out. That's that's the second point against you. And the third and final nail in the coffin is oh my freaking god. You guys dropped the ball when it came to the show. Season 4 just nuked every and anybody's intentions with it. Like season 3 was on thin ice. It was good and bad interchangeably. But season 4 came in and just destroyed people's faith in the show. So they already left mad. They did not even have faith. I didn't have faith. I wasn't going to come back, but I had to. 
and when i did i was surprised i was flabbergasted the woman was too stunned to speak because of this new season but all these other factors in play do not like the people who left the last season can't even see reviews to allow them to know this new season is great you're just saying no they need to watch the episode themselves well honey i'm sorry they are not they've already lost faith in you they need their favorite youtubers to tell them hey go back which is ironic because i actually made a shirt saying um i can't remember it's been a while since i made it i started to hate miraculous but then season five happened or something along those lines i was gonna post it in my i'm sorry to miraculous video but i can't even do anything anymore i think my last review live reaction got claimed or something and I, I edited it and i put it back up just just keep in mind this this is what you're seeing is the videos that are allowed to pass through at some point the algorithm said yeah you're good to go or sorry like the youtube claiming system said oh there's no nothing in this video that can be claimed and they claim it afterwards like 50 minutes or an hour or two hours afterwards it's just a game of whack-a-mole i believe talking about miraculous was the reason why i created a patreon because i realized oh i'm just doing work for free this is slave labor wait a minute i think slaves were paid like what 0.002 or five cents slaves are making more than me how dare talking about this show is literally just doing it because you love it but at, at a certain point you kind of get tired of the thing you love constantly talking you in the face either they don't let you talk about the show the the episodes are terrible before they get good well back then all we knew was terrible or their their marketing is just atrocious so so many factors are just in play that just makes you go i don't wanna like this video now i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna have to put still images because i don't want to risk putting a video that i know will get claimed because these people are vicious they just will not let up i'm pretty sure if you go back to a lot of my miraculous videos where i have long form content where i just don't put my my logo on the screen i i'm always saying oh this part got claimed that part got claimed and it just gets tiring because you sound like a broken record and people start thinking oh you're just not good at your job no baby no they, they, they just don't want you to talk about it that that's my belief wholeheartedly if they could shut down miraculous youtube channels and take all those views and funnel it towards themselves they will these people are greedy greedy little gremlins they do not care like i've never seen a show or a company that almost doesn't care about its fans just sees them as a monetary thing well i guess a lot of them do but you can see some shows care hell of a boss cares about its fans owl house cares hell steven universe cares but miraculous it almost felt malicious at a point but then season five turned around and they were like okay fine let's not let's not anger the people that are keeping us afloat but it's already too late the fans have given up the reviewers have given up everyone is just, just, just is just done and it's sad that it happened when shit was finally getting good oh my god i want to go back and watch this deflagration and everything but i'm afraid of just wasting my time and just not getting any money when i could put that energy towards other shows and even if i post the video either it gets claimed it gets suppressed or the fans just don't want to watch it because why should they it's it's a bad point and it's funny that the reason why i might actually stop making miraculous videos is not because i want to it's because the damn company dropped the ball that that's the worst part i didn't even leave foolishly of my own volition i was forced out the irony the karma god is i just feel like it's all the bad karma that this show has accumulated and they're just gonna have to get cancelled but i do believe even with all of this happening they still make enough i think i hope i don't know i want to say i pray but i don't want gloop to make any money <laughs> not a monochrome of a cent fuck that company but if things continue on this trajectory i don't even think thomas will be able to finish the show he he desperately wants he he, he dragged it out to the point that he can't even finish it anymore because people are just tired season four did not need to happen oh my god season four season three could have just been smashed into one and then when people were on their last legs make it good but it is what it is i feel like that's my reasons for why the fandom is just dead the show is dead it's dying and who knows maybe if new episodes start to drop things will get better things will boom but outside of the few hyper dedicated channels and i feel like they're only dedicated because they only just talk about the show it's kind of over because channels much bigger and more prolific prolific than me are struggling 
like channels that used to pop out the miraculous content are just left flailing because it's almost like the people don't want it or maybe the algorithm just doesn't promote it or maybe glue glob or whatever went behind the scenes and did some tactic tactics to make sure that miraculous videos just don't aren't pumping out it's it's i'm pretty sure the official miraculous channel also gets claimed it's just so exhausting it's just so tired it's all just so bullshit <laughs> but that's all that's gonna be all from me folks i've been rambling long enough and that's my reasonings for why i feel miraculous ladybug tails cat noir whatever is is oh my god let me know your, your thoughts about this whole madness do you feel like the show is dead the fandom is dead is dying or do you think no it's still there it's still strong tbc you're just delusional i i i, I don't want it to die honestly i don't feel it deserves it it's too it's almost it almost felt like it was too big to fail but here we are the show that before just putting it in your thumbnail would guarantee you 80,000 views for no for absolutely no reason miraculous youtubers will be getting like 200 500,000 views for, for just talking about miraculous now it does nothing and that's the signs of the end times because if the die-hard miraculous youtubers can't even talk about the show to get monetary income because they have to get money from this to do their job if they can't even do that, then end times are coming. <laughs> God damn. Because if, 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 if YouTubers stop talking about this show, it really is the end. But who knows? Maybe the show is still going strong on like Twitter or TikTok. You know, places where the company can't have a, like a chokehold on the fandom. And even then, I don't really see much about it. I feel like the fans have either grown up or just gotten tired. Because everyone gets tired, even even of an, of an abusive, toxic relationship. Because nothing binds us to this show. And if you can't have the uber hyper fans just gush about it, or you're not like supporting your community in any way, then why should we care? If you don't care about us, why should we care about you? You know? But yeah, that's where this video is gonna end. Thank you so much. To <laughs> anyway that's gonna be all for me folks thanks you guys so much for clicking to watch let me know any and all thoughts you have in the comment section down below don't forget to like comment subscribe do all the things and uh, but with that being said this is tbc Mwah. signing out